Good morning guys, how we doing? Hey, it is a beautiful day. It's gonna be 57 today, so I am ready to work. We are on a mulch job and a hedge trimming job. If you guys did not see yesterday's video, we edged tree beds, edged the beds, and I'll put a uh, link up top so you can check out the video if you haven't seen it. But, uh, should be getting our mulch here around 9, 9.30. I'm gonna get you guys set up. We're gonna trim the hedges real quick, get all that cleaned up. And today we're gonna talk about, I did a video a while back. If I can find it, I will throw that up there too. But we're gonna talk about why solo lawn care may not be right for some of you. Look, we all have different goals and Solo was right for me, but it may not be right for you. You may have different goals in mind, so we're going to talk about that today, but let's get started on hedge trimming. Yes, it's cold again today, of course, in the morning. Um, I think we've got about another week of the cold temps in the morning, and then we should be settling in around 40, 50 degrees. Who knows, though? I mean, this is Ohio, so could be like this in the middle of April. I know our grass is not ready to cut yet, but it's starting. It's starting to get there. You can see little patches sticking up. So I would say within two weeks, we're gonna be out cutting and uh, getting these edges all shaped up, if you'll focus. So it's gonna go right from mulching to cutting and then right from cutting to hedge trimming again and from hedge trimming to more mowing and then summertime will hit and things will slow down a bit and then fall will hit and it'll be more mowing and cleanups once again <laughs> it's like clockwork every year man it's always the same stuff every year so but you know what you make a decent living and uh you get to work outside so enough jibber jabber let's go to work Okay guys, I'm gonna finish this up on this side. I'll get a little bit on the of the boxes on the other side, but the main thing is the mulch. So I'm gonna trim, and the reason I'm cutting those down, they have no growing buds on them. So they need cut down. They haven't been cut down since he moved in like six years ago. So let me get some of this done and I'll see you in a bit. Hardest thing about those boxwoods, guys, is they were planted and they were never trimmed. So I'm gonna go back here, finish up in the back, and then I'll get back with you when the mulch gets here. See you guys in a few. All right, guys, so we are now mulching. I've got the trees mulched. Um, gonna show you those. 
they are mulched all over the place we're gonna be working up here so let's get to it okay so what I do because I'm solo and I hope you guys can hear me because it's windy today but I always make dumps and then come back later and you know spread it out and that's gonna lead us to the topic we're talking about you know solo versus growing a bigger business and sometimes it's beneficial to be solo and sometimes it's not man so we'll get into it but let's get this spread I always keep a wheelbarrow of mulch on hand when I'm doing this so let's have at it guys you see it so I'm gonna finish this up and uh, we'll move on down there but the number one thing I want to tell you solo versus having employees don't have employees just because you're too lazy to do the work I know people are gonna say how dare you say that to people doc look it's the truth man there are lazy people everywhere that just want to be the boss and they don't want to have to do the work. If you're hiring people because you don't want to come out and do the work, you're going to lose in the end. That's number one. We'll talk about the rest later. I'll be back. Okay, guys, there it is in all its beauty. That's what it looks like when it's done. Take you around. Got some more of the tree beds. Show you them. Boom. So let me get the front done and then I'll join you in the back. Okay guys, all done. Let me show you the finished product. Man, it is windy out today, but I think she looks good. Take you around there, show you that. Looks beautiful. Let's walk around the back, show you some of these trees out here. This little bed here, if you can remember that one. And here she is. And this was not easy because you had to pack the edges. You can see the slope of that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's gonna be a problem as soon as it rains I packed it in pretty good and we'll see what she does but there it is guys there's the other tree so I'm gonna get paid and then I'm gonna come back and finish our talk about solo versus you know having employees running a bigger business I think there's benefits to both just depends on you know what your needs are so we'll talk about it I'll be back all right guys I am done I'm home so let's finish talking about this man you know I chose to go solo because number one my age I turned 50 basically a year and a half ago and I was like you know what I've gone through several employees I'm getting tired of the runaround breaking my stuff last year 
I made a huge mistake by letting someone sub all my mulch from me. Okay, big mistake. So this year, I'm doing the majority of the mulch. Now, I'm still letting uh, Nick sub some mulch from me. Let me try to get that thing to set still. Oh, I can't do it. But for me, I chose to go solo because I don't want the hassle of worrying about somebody else's mistakes, worrying about paying somebody else, worrying about somebody else's taxes, all that stuff that you have to deal with. Um, but I will tell you that for some people, there's no other way, man. If you have, if you're younger, you have children, you have a wife, you have a home, you almost have to go for the gusto, get employees, run as much as you can. Now, if I was 25 to 30 years old, I would do the same thing I did, only I would have gotten bigger. Um, I want to know what you guys think about it. I always like hearing from you guys. Um, solo for me is great. I've got such little overhead. I don't have to buy new equipment. I don't have to keep stuff running like I would if there was three or four guys out tearing my stuff up. And not everybody tears stuff up, but you know what I mean. So for me, it was a no-brainer. 51 years old, do I really want to go into debt buying a bunch of equipment? No. Um, I can go out in a year and make $80,000 by myself, by myself. And that's good enough for me, okay? Some people, that's not even close. Some people want half a million, a million, 350,000. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that, man. But if you want that, I believe, okay, my opinion, you're going to have to get a lot of help and you're going to have to get a lot of properties, a lot of properties. And you're going to have to keep your guys busy 40 hours a week, nonstop, all year long. It's, it's just the way it is, man. Uh, I know some guys that's got two or three employees, and they're barely making $110,000 a year. Some of them are making $200,000. Some of them are making sixty. dollars You know, it, it just depends. But for me, solo works for me. I'm still young enough that I can do the work. Do I get behind at times? Sure. Rain happens. You know, you saw it the other day. It snowed. So I could have had two mulch jobs done this week. Instead, I only got the one. Uh, it's going to rain tomorrow. My goal this year is to take my weekends off, spend them with my wife, spend them doing other things. So, you know, and I, I'm going to I'm going to really try hard to do that because although we only get to work basically nine months out of the year, you still have to have time away from this stuff, man. And we're not vacation people. We don't spend a lot of money taking vacations and all that stuff like that. We just, you know, do our thing and go little places on the weekends. But that's not what the video is about. I want to hear from you guys. You know, at, at what age would you guys say, you know what? I'm not going into debt anymore. I'm done with the debt. Now look, I'm not talking about a lawnmower. I'm talking about several trucks, two dump trailers, eight mowers, things like that that you would have to have to keep a crew of five or six guys going constantly. So let me know what you think. And uh, hope you enjoyed the footage today, guys. And a huge, huge shout out to my buddy Tom Doby, man. You guys will see the video at some point, but... I'm so proud of Tom. I'm happy for him. And uh, you will all understand at some point in time. But I uh, hope you guys have a great one. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, man. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday. I don't know. See you soon.